Once you have entered the Adobe Connect meeting session, the first thing we recommend that you do is to go to the Meetings tab and click the Audio Setup Wizard. The Adobe Connect Audio Wizard will help set up and tune your audio devices for the use of Adobe Connect. Click the Next button. The first thing you will need to do is ensure that your speakers are connected and turned on. It could either be your computer speakers or your headsets. Click the Play Sound button to verify that your speakers are working properly. You should be able to hear this playing on your speakers or your headsets. Click Next. Click the drop down menu and select the microphone you would like to use. Then click Next. To ensure that your microphone is working properly, you will need to click the Record button here and either say a few words or read the following sentence on the screen. Then you will need to play the recording to hear your recording. I can see the recording bar is moving and my microphone is working properly. I can see the recording bar is If everything is working great, click Next. The last step is detecting the amount of background noise around you. Click the Test Silence button. Make sure that you're in a quiet place and stay silent until the progress bar is filled and once that is complete, click Next. Finally, you will get the Audio Setup Success window. Click Finish. To make sure that your speakers are on, make sure that you have this enable. To mute your speakers, click that button again. That shows that my speakers are muted. I'm going to click it again to enable my speakers. Feel free to use the statuses on the menu to either raise your hand, agree or disagree with something that the instructor is saying, ask the host or presenter to speak louder, softer, speed up, slow down, etc. Anytime you choose one of these statuses, it will appear right next to your name. If you need to lower your hand, click on lower hand. And that icon would disappear next to your name. Any documents or anything that the host or presenter needs to share with you is going to be on this screen. Use the chat area to chat with everyone else in the meeting. Notice that there's a tab called everyone. This means that anything I type in here will be seen by everyone in the meeting. But if you need to have a private message with someone else, simply click this option here, start a chat with, look in the attendees section, and select their name. In the pod options, you also have the ability to enable chat sounds or disable them. You can also choose a color for your font. You may also choose a text size. You will get a notification on the top of your screen if the host has given you access to microphone rights. Once you have been given access to use your microphone, you will see the microphone icon at the top of the menu. From here, you can connect your audio or select what microphone you would like to use if you have multiple microphones set up on your computer. Green is enabled, and when you have a green with a dash over it, it means that your microphone is muted. Notice that next to your name, it also shows that my microphone is currently muted. Please make sure that your microphone is disabled when you're not speaking so that others in the meeting do not pick up sounds from your microphone. This concludes this video tutorial. Thanks for watching.